Antarctic jackets. And they give them on the boat, I think. Well, here's our boat, the Insignia, from the back side. I'm going to show you our balcony area. That's the uh, fifth floor dining room window. The sixth floor owner on the sides. The seventh floor is ours. What I'm I'm going to zoom back from that's the owner's suite on either side of us. Two two units in the middle, I guess. I never noticed we have a uh, separation there. But that's our seventh floor balcony looking out from where the ship has been unless it's backing up. So we're very nicely located. They're, those are the owner suites on the corners. They have uh, actually a double balcony or more than a double balcony, maybe a triple balcony compared to the people on the side. Last year we had one of these little guys. I'll swing around here so you can see that. I don't trip over these ropes right next to the discovery ship here. So these are the uh, the balconies we had last year up also on the seventh floor. The eighth floor we uh, looked at last night. It's a much bigger cabin. It's more expensive, but it has, looks like it's about another six feet, five to six feet wider than the rooms that we have on the seventh floor and I think on the sixth floor. So anyway, there is our number seven one one six room on the insignia. And there's the town of Punta Arenas, stretching out Sandy Point Beach, sort of the Woodmont of Chile. We're at the southern end of Chile here. Well, not really the southern end anymore, but in the south. This is the largest city, I think, in, the, in southern Chile. With 620 pesos for the dollar. That's what we just got, yeah. Did you get something better now? No, I haven't. So where'd you, where'd you okay, there's the uh, government house with the Chilean flag, and I guess that's the Punta Arenas flag. I'll zoom in on that, but here is the Chilean flag, red, white, and blue with a star in the emblematic area, like the states. Oops, get it now. And that's the Punta Arenas sign flag. And this is the most beautiful woman in so. Punta Arenas today with a look at this rose bush behind you. Gorgeous. Oh. The first guy. Yeah. With a little, you See? know, whatever. He was more expensive. No. Well, we're in an internet cafe, a real coffee shop with smoking behind us. Mom is checking her mail. Get in the Yahoo fine. Writing a note to Stephanie as we speak. We had 41 messages and 291 in the spam bucket. Beautiful day here in Punta Arenas. Here comes a guy in with long blonde curls. <laughs> they have uh, beautiful parks here. They love their trees. And I noticed that there are very few, if any, wooden telephone poles. Everything is cement and steel. Traffic lights are all steel. The wind is blowing about 30 miles an hour now, gusting towards the ocean, coming down the hills. This is a, an intersection with the park behind me. Scan into the park. Beautiful park area. This is where we were going to buy Rachel's snowman. The wind is blowing about 30 miles an hour. I'm behind a, uh, a boat now, our boat. But this wind, can you imagine this in the winter time? This is summertime here. It's a happy camper here. Just love it. Well, we've come out of the Straits of Magellan. And these are the Straits of something else. I'll have to look at the map again. But just to get some of the scenery. Been passing by all, all morning. This is the islands of Chile, thousands of these islands uninhabited. Beautiful in their stark nature. I'm going to follow these arrows. We went around Cape Horn, there's the Cape Horn. We went into 
Puerto Williams, registered for Chile. Back into Ushuaia. This is the Beagle Channel we got into there. Went to Punta Arenas, city of 120,000 people. Biggest city in southern Chile. And now we're cruising the fjords. No snow at this point, but we're in these islands heading up along the fjords for two days without seeing, without a port. So we get to the San Rafael on New Year's Day. And the next day we're in Puerto Chacapuco. And continuing on up to just as a point of reference, this is the Pacific Ocean on the left side, the Atlantic Ocean on the right side, and Puerto Madryn in Argentina, south of Buenos Aires, uh, where we started our adventure. This is the southern half of South America. Well, we're really close to the islands. We're in the Chilean fjords. So I'm going to scan the horizon here. Big, big bend of an island, and on, so we're heading north. So that means to the west of us is the snow-covered, snow-capped uh, mountain. Of course, this is the summertime. We're in the middle of summer here in Chile, South America, December, last day before New Year's. Tomorrow's New Year's Eve. Well, the sun has come out. I'm on our veranda, as they call it. We've been riding all day, and we will be all day tomorrow, too, through these various Chilean fjords. Beautiful weather since it stopped raining. I had a uh, sauna, steam bath, and went out in jacuzzi. It was about 32 degrees, and it started snowing. <laughs> and got very cold. There's some snow-capped mountains in the distance there. Beautiful day. Just enjoying the ride. coming down all the way to the uh, to the ocean in this passageway well, we don't get it on the other side though The Amalia Glacier has been holding its own for the past 90 years, has not retreated. It retreats in the summertime a little bit, comes back to the same spot in the wintertime, so not suffering any global warming at this point. Uh, this evening, so I hope that you're enjoying the view, and I'll come back with just a little more information in just a few minutes. 
closer for the next uh, 15 minutes or so. You've got a great view.